Here I am on Help Scout's website. Their illustrations are stunning, and they have subtle interactions spread across their website, including this. When you hover into a nav drop down menu, all of the items inside that menu fade out other than the one that you're hovering over. And this subtle interaction is exactly what we're going to learn how to do today. First we're going to add it in 30 seconds with custom code, but this effect can also be done using the inbuilt Webflow interactions, so we'll learn how to do that too. So let's get started. So this is the custom code that we'll be adding, which I'll add in the description below. So all we'll do is we'll copy that, we'll go back into our project and we'll go into the project settings and paste that in the head. Now we'll want to replace these class names with the names that we're using inside of the nav dropdowns. So we'll save this for now to check what our classes are. We'll close this one and we'll open one of our dropdowns. So the list element is using dropdown list and the individual items are using dropdown list item. So those are the classes that we'll need to use. So we'll go back into our page settings. We'll change this class to dropdown list and this to dropdown list item. And we're going to copy and paste those names in the style below. So currently what our custom CSS is doing is that when you hover inside of the dropdown list, all of the dropdown list items reduce the opacity. But when you're hovering on an individual list item inside a dropdown list, the opacity is going to be full. So we can save that, we'll close that, and the only other thing that we'll want to do is add a hover effect to the actual item for the opacity. And we'll change that to 300 milliseconds. And now we can publish that. And when we preview it, it's already working exactly how we want. When we're inside the menu, all of the items are faded. But when we're in an individual menu item, it's full opacity. And that's carried across all of our menu dropdowns. So that's how we can do it with custom code. But instead, if we want to do it with Webflow interactions, we can do that too. So I've removed all of my custom code, and what I'm going to do is open this nav menu. I'll select the list item and add an interaction. We'll do mouse hover and apply it to all elements with the same class. On hover, we'll start an animation. We'll call it drop down list hover in. And the interaction is going to affect the list item. We'll select opacity. It'll be 100% opacity initially and then select Opacity again, and take the opacity down to 40. And we'll speed up that duration. Now we'll want to do the opposite when we move out of the menu. So on Hover Out, we'll start an animation, we'll duplicate our hover in, call it Hover Out, delete our first action, and now change the opacity to 100. And we can save that one. Now that we have the list set up, we'll need to add an interaction to the list items. So we'll select a list item, we'll add an interaction of mouse hover, and again this is going to apply to all of the elements with the same class. So on hover we'll start an animation, and this one will be list item hover in. So when it hovers in, the opacity is going to change to 100%. And let's take the duration down to 0.2 seconds. And we'll save that, add one for hover out, duplicate our action, and reverse it by taking the opacity down to 40%. And we'll save that and preview our website. Now we can see when we hover in our menu, all of the items are faded. And when we hover over an individual item, it's back to full opacity. And that's also carried across to our other menu. And that's exactly how we can fade non-active items inside of Webflow.